Psychology 4900 is a way to earn course credit for study that's often different from typical courses. Independent study is a nice opportunity to tackle an in-depth project or to be exposed to research. The project and the evaluation are all created individually, but common paths draw on two broad approaches, or sometimes a combination of the two. One of these is doing library research to create a literature review paper. A second is working on lab research, for example, as an experimenter, coding data, rating research participants, developing materials, and so on. Uh, this may come together in a mini thesis or uh, perhaps a paper focused on a smaller part of that work. You may have regular meetings, for example, with your faculty supervisor or a larger lab group, but often independent study is less structured than a normal class. With that in mind, it's wise to develop a plan and deadlines, especially if you're the kind of person who needs that structure to get things done on time. To do an independent study, you need to have a few things. First, third year standing or higher. Second, you need to find a willing advisor or supervisor from among the faculty. And third, you need to submit an application form to the undergrad office. You'll find that form on the department webpage along with deadlines for submitting it. Uh, that form needs to include a plan for your project, brief description, as well as the evaluation to arrive at the grade for your independent study course. You'll develop that plan and the evaluation method with the faculty member. Less formally, uh, here are a few tips for making an independent study successful. Faculty enjoy working with independent study students, but finding a supervisor can be a challenging part. From a faculty perspective, it takes a lot of time for this one-on-one -on -one contact of an independent study. And for that reason, student interest can outpace faculty's availability to supervise them. Often, faculty will agree to supervise independent studies of students they already know somewhat. So for example, it might be from classes, especially the smaller ones with one-on-one -on -one contact, previous volunteer work in their lab, or other ways you might get to know faculty. Of course, it's fine to email faculty if you don't know them. Uh, but if you do this, it's good to learn a little bit about them before you do. So learn about their research interests and be prepared to tell them a bit about yourself. They may ask for your academic audit, a writing sample, or any previous experience that might be relevant to the independent studies project. Faculty are more willing to supervise projects related to their current research and interests. In fact, they may even have ideas for projects, something they've been thinking of doing and are looking for a student to help them with. So it's good that you have ideas related to their interests, but also be flexible. If you're interested in doing an independent study, keep your ears open. You should talk with other students, undergrads, and especially grad students, and faculty when you get to chat with them about potential independent study opportunities. It's good to begin early, definitely before the term you want to do the independent studies. It's going to take some time to find an advisor and a project to develop that plan, the evaluation. If you want to do this, check out the department webpage for details. There you'll find the application form and the deadlines. So a little bit of extra work on the front end, an independent studies project can be a really unique university experience. Hi, um, my name is Renee and I'm a psychology student at Carleton. I recently completed an independent project in psychology. I wanted to do an independent project because I hope to learn more about the research process and to improve my writing skills, both of, hoped, both of which I hoped would help me in my future graduate studies in psychology. I started by familiarizing myself with the literature related to my topic. Then I collected all the data for the study and in concert with my supervising professor, I analyzed the data. Finally, I wrote up the project in the general format of a journal article in psychology. I consider the independent project to be one of the most useful courses available to undergraduates because it offers you a chance to participate fully in the research process. It also allows you to uh, dig deeply into a topic that interests you, and it gives you a chance to work closely with one professor. I would highly recommend the independent project, especially to anyone who is considering graduate studies. If you aren't sure yet whether you want to continue on to graduate school, it might help you to make up your mind.